Is that a natural crater? It's a future lake if it keeps raining like this. Yeah, exactly, Demi of Derp. I'd be a little bit worried. I don't think we're going to get to the point where we can fill this with the ocean. I think the the, the sky is going to fill it for us. Long before we ever get to the point of being able to fill it with taters. I'm super sad. Super duper sad. We're not going to have our tater crater. Wow, tater crater. That has to be a thing now. That's too good to just throw off offhandedly and never come back to damn it this is now tater crater we're going to make a settlement here it's going to be featured in fallout f um I, I was going to say fallout 7 but then i remember it's like fallout 76 or whatever oh. that's just I don't, we're, we're going to call it something else let's let's go for a propriety uh, new ip what what is our post-apocalyptic uh, game that may or may not have a uh, kind of every man slash woman slash person protagonist who you can kind of transplant your ideals on top of who's otherwise basically a potato head um, probably has family that are voice acted by ridiculously famous people who die very quickly in the story um, what is what is our version of this going to be called? We need a name. Chat, I'm relying on you. Tell me to do it. The naysayers are just tater crate, crater haters. Wow, that's that's on the level of Karma Armor Farmers. That is on the level of Karma Armor Farmers, and, I, and I, I say that with no small amount of, uh, of awe, appreciation, because Mucky Foot made the best space sim game. Startopia was, was a once in several lifetimes creation. It had just the right amount of theme hospital and just the right amount of dungeon keeper in it to make it amazing. It helped that it was made by former employees of Bullfrog. There's probably a reason why it had a, a, a certain amount of those games in it. The Starch March. Avak, your tree harvesters. Uh, what about my tree harvesters? Oh yes, uh, they have no more trees. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Uh, I was kind of surprised, actually. Uh, I was expecting that to last for ages. I was expecting that to be a problem, not something that we would go through that quickly. Uh, okay, well, with that done, the next place we're going to want to go for is over here. There we go. Thank you very much for keeping an eye on that for me, Chad. Oh, my Lord, it's going to take us forever. Uh, what are we lacking? Oh, crap. Well, that is unfortunate. I should have prioritized them in a better better order, honestly. Okay, well, this one can simply be switched over to allow iron ore then, for the time being. But this is now a much higher priority, so we're going to pop that on uh, six, pop that one on six as well. Got too distracted. Too distracted by talking about the Tater Crater. Dungeon Keeper is the reason I will never buy a game from EA. I mean, I mean the modern ones, I understand where you're coming from, but uh, don't don't tarnish the legacy of Bullfrog. Well, I guess the legacy of Bullfrog is more or less... Uh, don't, don't tarnish the original work of Bullfrog. How dare. No, the be they made the beacon have a slightly bigger but footprint. It no longer fits where I've been putting it since the first time I played. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Leafy Pew. But thank you very much for the uh, for the warning on the tree harvester. I was completely distracted there. I could tell him to stop trucking straws in the ocean, but um, how else are the fish going to drink?
There we are, construction two, very nice indeed. Right, we've got iron flowing again. That was a, oh, nice. That actually um, bunches up. I like it. But yeah, it's going to take us a little bit of time to get all of this sorted, sadly. I wonder, though. Does loose, oh, it does, huh. So yeah, we could, we could absolutely create a place which just exists purely to, to manage scrap. Hmm. Hadn't considered that, but that's actually pretty cool. Well, we've got plenty of unity coming in, so I think uh, heading out for another trade would be worth it. We've got also got plenty of trees coming in, so let's get some more concrete there. I am going to prioritize this being made, prioritize that being made, because once these are done, then our iron supply is going to be much, much smoother. Right now, they're all bringing this slag down here, though, instead of dumping it, which is amusing. Uh, am I actually dumping slag? No, no, I'm not. That's fine, though. No. That one is so close. Let's just quickly deliver it. And with this up and running, we can now allow that to just go ahead and work. So let's unpause these. There we are. Uh, this one can now switch over just to scrap again. Only thing I want that doing is producing scrap. There we are. This should probably do be done as a bit of a priority. As and when I get the opportunity, I will quick deliver items. We'll see. That being said, I can just use the Unity quick deliver. Whomp. Oh no, it only only turns on or off their uh, Unity status. That's a shame. I thought I could use that to just force quick deliver. That would have been amazing. Tater Crater and Rubbish Mountain must both be things in this playthrough. I mean, we can we can definitely do that, sure. Uh, we're probably going to need... How much more concrete do we have? We've got none. So I need to get back out there and do another trade as often as possible. Strictly speaking, I guess I don't need that on a priority. Uh, whereas I do need these on priority. Uh, yeah, well, it's just a matter of waiting for this. There's nothing I can do about it. Got too many things we're trying to do. I think definitely this was a reminder that we couldn't store all of our taters. That's terrible. Can I trade taters? I cannot. That's also terrible. Man, imagine not being able to trade taters. I get a bit more scrap if I really want to. Sure, I'll empty out my uh, storage of, of logs. Might as well. The amazing thing is right now, we're just doing all of this by burning trees. I'm actually kind of impressed. Trash and chips. No. See, it, that, that isn't good enough, no. It would need to be a better pun than that. I mean, I would have accepted something uh, and chips, but no.
How are we doing? Uh, I think we're largely okay with our current... Oh, there we are. Conveyor belts are done. It requires, however, level 2 components, which is much sadness. We knew that that was going to be the case, though. And that requires construction parts 1 and electronics. But it would drastically improve everything around here. So... Gonna make it happen. Construction parts, and I want you to make construction parts too. Now, generally speaking, as long as the priority is on other things, they will deliver those materials to the buildings elsewhere. But it will take time. Diesel production complete. How are we doing for diesel? We are actually getting really bad for diesel. Uh, okay. I'm going to pause the construction here. Don't need that made. Are there trades that I can make for diesel? No, I can trade diesel for coal. But we are going to run out of diesel before then. Basic distiller is expensive. The oil pump is expensive. And the rubber maker is expensive. But we do only need these two things ultimately. That is not where I want to view. I feel that right now this actually needs to be focused on, on that more than anything else. Uh, yeah, let's prioritize getting that built. What we lack... Well, actually... Now the problem is we just don't have the materials to make it work. So I guess we'll just pause the construction for now instead. I think as much as I desperately need this, I'm going to pause all of those to get these made. Because if we don't get those made, our entire, like we can we can get by hobbling with the the uh, concrete. But if we run out of diesel, then it's pretty much game over for us. While we wait, I guess we can just continue. Oh, there we are. Crop rotation. Let's get crop rotation. Um, captain's office. Actually, yes. Captain's office first. Um, efficient concrete. That would be very useful. Uh, fuel depot also super useful. Crop rotation useful. Let's get all of those done. Yeah, warning low diesel. Yeah, don't say. I can unpause the beacon, and there is a good chance that. Um, new colonists will drop in with diesel. So let's get that on the go. Obviously, the endgame rocket will be fueled with potato vodka. Yes, yes, as is befitting of Tater Crater. Crop rotation. Taters, potatoes, taters, potatoes. Basically, 
all of our farmers will alternate between Sam and Asta. That that's that's basically what it's going to be. It's going to Samwise Gamgee and Asta, just constantly rotating. One will grow potatoes, and the other one will grow taters. And we'll need enormous amounts of water all the time. Well, it's just a matter of waiting now then. Um, slowly emptying this place out of wood. May as well get rid of that too. That should probably not be on uh, priority anymore. Hi, Avak. Hi, chat. I hope everything, everyone has a wonderful evening. Oh, that's lovely of you to say, uh, Nuriai. We need some sort of overlook area so people can come be spectators. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew the, the, the completely offhand comment about Tater Crater would turn into this? There's some more diesel. Fantastic. This is ever so slightly less of a priority now, but still really want it done. It's halfway done. I can honestly probably just remove the boost at this point because I don't have enough concrete to keep that running on boost. Uh, it's still too expensive. That being said, just because it, the Unity... Well, actually, is it the Unity or is it the deal? I think it's the deal. Yeah, it's the deal. And I actually don't mind to spend a little bit more wood on getting the, the uh, early concrete. It isn't the Unity that is the problem there. There we go. That should uh, get us forward a little bit more. Is it wrong I just decided to make a spreadsheet to calculate the percentage yield per hour for the servants in V Rising? It isn't wrong, but it is worry. <laughs> Bob Trem, thank you very much for the four months, buddy. We can call the young ones tater tots. Oh, why? What have I created? What terrible evil have I unleashed upon the land? And if there was a mutiny, it would be the tray taters. Oh, no. I didn't ask for this. I might deserve it, but I didn't ask for it. <laughs> There's a very big difference between getting what I deserve and getting what I asked for. Very big. All uh, right, we need more trees to be cut. Um, over there, please. Let's continue to just deforest the areas around the next expansion for our mines. I am the tater baiter. No! <laughs> Naughty! Uh, what's with all these spudden puns? I mean, I, I feel the spudden puns is a bit of a stretch there, sweet orange bunny. I'll give you a 4.3 out of 10. Yeah, that's a little bit more diesel. Good, good, good. Uh, we are now actually approaching the point where I do not know if having that active would be very wise. There we go. All right, we're making diesel, hooray! We're also making other stuff, boo! I need a liquid dump. Uh, so. Oh, well, this has to be really far out there, wow. Wow. Can I squeeze it in there? I can, sort of. All right. Uh, but I feel that that would be cutting off that ship a little bit too aggressively.
Okay, so chat, just to satisfy curiosity, because I know you're going to ask, I cannot make this crater into Poop Lake. It is not possible. Nor desired. But mostly it's not possible. There will be no Poop Lake. I know. I know. You're very sad. But it is just the way that it is. Actually, I want this back a little bit. Is that up and running? Yeah, that's pretty good. We're now producing our own diesel. We're also producing uh, wastewater, which we do need to get to. Uh, in fact, on that note, I actually want two liquid storages down here. One for said diesel and one for said wastewater. This one will request diesel, this one will request wastewater, these two can be quick built. And let's get everything built as fast as we can now. Uh, we're gonna need some more... Oh, still really expensive, damn it. Alright. Let's get these back up and running. Okay. Though so perhaps I should really focus on one thing at a time. I, we'll see. I mean, I got a lot of logs, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. That has been finished, which is nice. I am going to allow uh, auto imports here for now. Although... Remind me, chat, to turn that back off because I don't want them just moving stuff from there over here. I want them to store it and then allow it to be uh, uh, just processed. Now that we've got that... Oh, fantastic, we've got this. Uh, I want to edit the area. Now, can I edit the area properly? That's the big question. What I want... Ah, oh, perfect. Yes. Okay, so, well, hmm... Problem here is I want both sand and limestone gathered. Uh, I think I will work just on the limestone here, though. And then I will make another one for the sand. Eventually, that's going to be necessary. We're not going to gather it yet, though. We'll just crack on with what we've got going at the moment. I will change my name later. No poop lake. How will I power my city with no poop dam? Well, I mean, you could go with the oxygen not included route and uh, convert that polluted water into food and drinking water, which will produce more polluted water, and part of the drinking water will be siphoned off into uh, electrolyzers to produce the air that the duplicants are breathing, and also some hydrogen, which then gets pumped into a hydrogen generator, powering the whole infernal, terrible uh, construction. Uh, that is an option. So basically, you will turn your people's polluted water, heavy quotation marks, into their air, into their food, and into their uh, liquids. And also the power. So, you know, you can do it that way. 100%. And if you want to get really, really crazy and fancy, you can also get really flatulent dupes and then use their fart gases to produce more polluted water and also power your natural gas generators. So, yeah, you, there are options if you really want to power your city with poop. I'm just saying... That it's, it's a thing you could do. I'm not suggesting it's a thing you should do. In fact, I might even go as far as to say you probably shouldn't. But it's a thing you can do. Nevertheless, uh, Eliandor Firebrand, thank you very much for the Prime. 
what an interesting time for you to join us. Uh, Joe, thank you so much for the five gift subs. And Isham Gamer as well, my lord. And so many cheers as well. Tiochavaudian, everyone. That's so incredibly, incredibly kind of you. We have run out of uh, diesel. Well, that's not great. Uh, let's unpause that so that there is more diesel being produced. I mean, come on now, please. Please. Please, you must. Uh, can I trade more away? Sort of. In fact, I can trade quite a lot away. More. There we are. That should keep us going for a bit. We have got water. Marvellous. What? <gasps> Does it fill up? Oh my lord! It's an extendo tank! That's fantastic! I deeply approve. Deeply. Uh, you can quick deliver. No pickup. Uh, pickup has no fuel. Not enough fuel to refuel the fuel. What the but there is fuel over here! Ah, oh, my lord. Problem was, I built these. <laughs> what an idiot I am. Should have just allowed them to have constant access to it all. Hooray. Uh, I've now got homeless peeps, though. Which is not hooray. It is very un-hooray. Well, we're gonna need... Oh no. Tiny little bit there. Okay, you're gonna have to just build out in that direction then in that case but yeah this is this is a bit of a rough time unfortunately because there are pipes they will not collect down here and that is a big issue uh, sometimes you just gotta work around these little issues but uh, sometimes they are a little bit frustrating, I will confess. Now you're under fuel as well. Oh my lord. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to tank the unity loss there. I'm going to disable one of these so that we're producing a little bit more unity. The homelessness problem is a big one. But my lord, Wendy, that is incredibly, incredibly kind of you for the five gift subs there. And Hydrax as well. Thank you all so incredibly much. Can't you just force truck exports on the refinery instead of leaving it on auto for now? Um, well, auto... Well, that's a good point, actually. I mean, usually it disables it if it's not allowed. Oh, yeah. No, you're quite right. You're quite right. Um, and... To be honest, I'd completely forgotten how that worked, I guess. I was under the impression that if it was on auto, it would allow them to collect if the fluid wasn't going somewhere. But clearly not. Because although I've got a pipe taking the fluid out of the building, it doesn't have a destination built yet. So I, I assumed auto would allow them to continue to deliver. But no, you're, you're quite right. Quite right. That was, in fact, what we needed to do uh, for that case then i'll allow import over here thank you very much for correcting me there i would have been lost without you three cheers for max alternative forms of cheering accepted are also juggling ferrets and uh playing catch with otters that will also be a, an acceptable form of celebrating the fact that they just stopped the colony from just, you know, collapsing in on itself like a flat in a cupboard. Thank you very much for the bits there, chat. That's super kind of you. Right, we need more concrete. 
always oh we can't have more concrete we do not have enough wood <laughs> yeah the 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 wood supply has been somewhat uh diminished greatly in fact i'm just gonna break that down there's no point in having it anymore would you really suggest that juggling i do it with my friends all the time they love it i mean you gotta be pretty good uh, you've got to have fairly confident eye-to-hand -hand coordination. And also the ferrets have to trust you. But if you can get those two things, it's actually incredibly fun. A ferret might suggest being juggled if they were in the mood. Oh, uh, yeah. No, absolutely. They have a whale of time. Oh, Wendy, thank you very much for the cheer there as well. That's super kind of you. Mini Moogle. For your gift sub. That was a fantastic way of celebrating Max's great triumph. <laughs> a gift sub. Wow. Well done. Now, Silas knocked in, and I'll be back to view chat and the vid. The rat snake decided it wasn't going to stay in its enclosure. It's always the rat snake. But, uh, by the way, uh, skink or the monitor lizard that I don't recall the species of. Uh, I mean, honestly, it sounds like you're having an amazing time watching your friend's pets. I'm a little bit envious, not gonna lie. But there we go. This no longer... Well, I guess we still do need to allow them to transport things out because the wastewater will build up, but otherwise we should be good. Right, fuel station is now complete. I could at this stage build a fuel... Well, actually, no, I can't. I've got a couple of other things I need to work on first. Uh, but we are getting there. Uh, I'm going to need two more of these. And I'm going to need a lot more of these. Uh, we <laughs> I love how even though they're homeless, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Uh, well, given that, could I... Could I move you around? Can I get all... Oh, my lord, I can. That kind of boggles my mind. All right. I would like you to level this area for me. All the way down here. Please and thank you. Just level the whole thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm doing it wrong. No. My bad. Level it. Not, uh, not create a new ramp. There we go. And we will assign a couple of excavators over there. Just as soon as I got them. Right, there we go. Our setup over here is now complete. We are producing our own concrete. Happiest of days. The very happiest, in fact. And with that, we're going to unpause these. There you go. Uh, I'm also going to unpause you. Things are coming together now. I'm going to need a fuel station, though. That is a very big must. If we can get a few... Oh, how are we doing for copper? We're doing all right for copper, actually. Surprisingly well for copper, I must confess. Right, I can now assign uh, an excavator there. It's going to be a, a brief sort of thing. And I also want you working for that excavator. Two of you, in fact. Let's get them over there. It's just going to be rock that you move. Uh, how about for the time being, actually? Let's just prioritize down here. Once you've cleared that, I'll have you flatten the rest. In fact, I'll build a specific mine station over here for that. But for the time being, this is this is the main thing. Uh, mine control tower. Let's get you about... Mm, mine control tower can go around here. We'll swap these over in time. Ah, wow, chat. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of the support. You've gotten us about 35% to the final hype train station. Thank you so, so much, everyone. It's incredibly, incredibly kind of you. Fireguard, Diochavarion for the sub. Welcome to the Dapplings. It is a lot of bits, yes. The Dapplings are prodigiously generous. It is a thing. Chat are well trained. Wow, Demi. I... Demi has a... This is the patronatural ability for punnage. I'm going to be honest with you. 
It's not normal for someone to be able to pan as hard as you do. There we go. We can go ahead. Uh, we only want these to be for iron, I think. A third mind control tower. Yuri expands. You imply that Yuri wasn't everywhere to begin with. How disturbing. But thank you so much for that hype train. That was incredibly kind of you all. The Alpha Valdeon. All right. How's things going over here? Uh, not enough fuel to fuel vehicle. Not enough housing settlements of credit. Well, I, yeah, I know that part. It's, it's just the, the way it is. Um, yeah, I need this to be happening a lot faster. This is only producing 18 per 60 seconds. And I can use a lot more. Uh, so, let's build a second one then. What they will do. Not a very efficient way of doing it, but it will work for now. How are we doing with our production of concrete? Well, I mean, it's, we're actually doing all right with it, I suppose. I could speed it up a bit, but I think for now, this should be all right. They have rebalanced a lot of things, though, so... A lot of my estimations on what will be sufficient and what will not be sufficient are going to be very, very skewed. Uh, and there's a shockingly high chance that I'm just going to be wrong on quite a lot of it. So do bear that in mind, chat. A lot of things have been rebalanced. Uh, don't worry, we will get the housing done soon. I just need to wait for that last little bit over here to be moved out of the way. Where are you off to with that? You have to click. What? It was on the way though. Oh, damn it. That is an impressive plastic <laughs> shoreline we're creating. Oh my lord. Uh, my goodness. However, you have the power to copy-paste settings. You will be able to pick an entity to copy from and apply its settings either on either a single machine or drag to apply it to multiple. Oh, really? Uh, I wasn't sure that if uh, that there was uh, copying of the settings. That's very nice. Crop rotation, tutorial farming. Okay, so managing your island's industry wasn't enough for you. You decided to be a farmer as well, so let's cover some basics. Farms grow crops, and crops can be used in various places, but mainly to feed your pops. But crops don't grow for free. They consume water and soil fertility. Water. Water is replenished by rain, even for greenhouses. But rain is not a reliable source, and more advanced crops are more demanding. So having an external source of water is recommended. Irrigated farms automatically distribute water when the soil gets dry, so externally supplied water does not get wasted. Wasted. Farm yields uh, get reduced if crops don't have enough water and may even completely dry out. Fertility is a bit more complex. Farm fertility directly affects its yield. When a farm has 50% utility, it only produces 50% of what it could have produced if it had 100% crop. Uh, had 100%. Crops consume fertility on a daily basis, but farms also have a daily natural fertility replenishment, meaning that leaving farm empty without growing anything would replenish its fertility slowly back to 100%. Over time, fertility will stabilize at some value based on planted crops. This value is called fertility equilibrium. That is the final fertility you can expect if you maintain your current crop schedule for a long time. Also, if you don't rotate your crops, meaning you keep growing the same crop all the time, you get a fertility penalty. To overcome the fertility costs, there are several options. You can rotate regular crops with green manure, which increases soil fertility but does not yield any product. But the biggest farmers 
overclocking dream are fertilizers. They can increase your farm's fertility and keep it there. Some of them can even increase your fertility over 100% to get even more out of your farms. However, you need to make sure you provide a stable supply. To make fertilizers work, you need to connect a pipe with fertilizer to your farms and drag the fertility target slider to the desired level and the farm will automatically fertilize the soil to maintain the specified level. Note that each fertilizer has its own maximal fert fertilizing target it can reach. Also, the conversion of fertilizer to fertility is not always one-to-one -one and displayed in the UI. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Uh, empty. Uh, okay, so... We need 36 water and 10.5% fertility over three months will produce 58 potatoes. 27 water across two months will increase fertility by 3.6%. Hmm. And if you leave it empty for three months, natural, it will give it natural replenishing. Uh, we'll rotate the crops like so. Our fertility now sits at 59.73. If I let it go fallow, 59.73. Let's have a look at what this would be like. It's 47.5. Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. If I pop this in there, still is 47.5. But if I add that in now, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That is showing me what the uh, natural set point would be. Wow, okay. Interesting that it says that. Fertility equilibrium is, is 83.8, even though this is functionally the equivalent. Oh, no, there we are. Eight, uh, 83.8. I wonder if we added that in there. Yeah, it does nothing. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's not actually that bad, then. We'll get a little bit less out of it, but it's worth it doing. Now, eventually we're going to be able to upgrade them, but right now, not something we can do. Right, you've done a good job over here. Let's continue to expand this out. something like that now i want some more room uh low food supply really that's worrisome maybe time for a third farm then wasn't really what i was expecting to do but uh all right we can definitely set that up uh pretty much the same crop rotation We'll see how that goes. Overclocking farms? Did I hear that correctly? Yes, you did. D don't think about it too hard. Just accept that in this world we overclock our farms. It is the way. Uh, right, I would like you there. I would like two vehicles with you. And I would very much like you to flatten this out. All the way across. That'll do nicely. Right, let's also get some research on the go. We want vegetable farming, because that would actually be uh, quite nice to rotate that. Uh, I would also like a groundwater... Well, actually, irrigated f pumps is probably the next thing. And then groundwater pumps. So let's go with vegetable farming, irrigated farms, groundwater pump. Then we can start getting our, set, uh, our settlements some water, which would probably make them very happy. Quite, quite pleased, I imagine. Right, you're going to be moving. Uh, we're going to want some sand. So let's get one of you over here. Uh, I'm actually going to reduce the amount of vehicles we have there. And I'm going to pop one. Oh, no. Why? What? Oh, my bad. My bad. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess technically I no longer need that over there. So we'll bring you down here instead. One on each. Uh, that does leave us with an extra vehicle. So I'll have you over here. And then you can eventually continue work over there. Got a lot of jobs to do. So many. Uh, yeah, there's little, little bits and bobs we can dig in here. 
need to get that sand up because we're going to need it over here. And I'm going to have to pause that there because we're immediately going to want to go for this one. And that requires sand as well. Um, so the end delivery is actually going to be a lot more complicated. Uh, that goes in the middle. Sand, I guess, would be on the side. Hmm. Alternatively, I could have sand being delivered in here. 